There. Well, there goes the all part. Now let's say compassion for some beings. That's not what he said. Now, of course, if you're in an environment like the Himalayas, and it's winter time, who knows what you've got to do? <laughs> There's no way around it. You're not getting fruit. This is before shipping existed. This is before the trucks were coming through and delivering the food to the stores. This was, you live in a village, you never escape that village, the village gets snowed in, there's no access, so for seven months straight, you're there, and you have animals. And without those animals, you ain't gonna live. And so, because of that, you compromise, and to the degree that you eat the milk of your animals raw, you live. To the degree that you eat the organs of your animals raw, you live. To the degree that you eat that stuff cooked, to that degree you start having degenerative diseases. Only Degenerative diseases are only found in humans and are domesticated pets. In nature, degenerative disease does not exist. You understand that? It doesn't exist. In nature, you're an animal, you live healthy, 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 healthy. You grow old. You're, you can't even be told from the young ones. You know, you see a, 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 a herd of gazelle and they're all running forever. Running, 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 running. Great grandma running right next to baby. They're all just healthy until the very end of their life. And then they just kind of die quickly. They go from being in perfect health to expiring. We don't do that. Our culture, our society, we have about sometimes this is a tragic truth, but we sometimes have 30 years of living half alive. Going to the hospitals, going, taking all these drugs, you know. I mean, you know it. We, you know, you, I don't have to tell you, right? A lot of us have, have seen these long protracted sicknesses, these long diseases, all these cancers, the epidemics that we're in the midst of. This is an unnatural thing happening because we are eating our degenerative diseases. We're eating cooked foods, okay? So when you eat according to biology, you eat according to your biological design, you eat, and which is what basically the way of saying that is when you eat according to God's law, you eat according to the laws of nature. I look at this stuff like it's a very spiritual subject, you know? These are God's laws. These are the laws of nature. You violate them, chances are, not guaranteed, chances are there's going to be a price paid. Now, just to finalize this, I know what you're all going to say. I have an uncle, and he smokes and drinks and eats meat every day, and he's 90. What are you going to say about that? Okay, well here's what I'll say about that. That guy would have lived to 140. That guy would have lived to 140. Okay? Your lifespan is not so small like that. A guy like that, who can abuse himself like that, and still live 85 years, if he had been a bit more intelligent about it, would have lived a hell of a lot longer. The human heart, just so you know, the human heart is so powerful that if allowed to just beat on its own, without getting the stress of what happens when, when the vessels get like arteriosclerosis, you know, when the vessels get smaller or they get, you know, hardened out and the pressure of the vessels, the pressure of the digestive system gets, gets to pressure the heart. If the heart were allowed to pump without that pressure at its back or on its shoulders, human heart would beat for 400 years. The power of the human heart would go for 400 years. So you don't have to, it ain't your heart that's giving out because it got tired. It gave out maybe because it got tired, but it got tired because of the stress of your system. Because the blood vessels got smaller, because you're stagnating in your digestive system and there's all kinds of stale, stagnant energy, and the heart just got too much pressure, like obesity, okay? Obesity is, is a real dangerous thing because it's just too much pressure on the heart. So. The heart itself is so strong, it goes 400 years. So what is our lifespan? It's not 80 or 90. So it doesn't prove anything that you could live a long time eating in a beautiful way. Also understand this, it's another thing, there's a lot of stuff I'm talking about, I'm not sure why. But understand this, someone born in 1900 is about twice as healthy or twice as strong constitutionally as you are born in the 1970s. 
60s, whatever, born in 1990, you're even less healthy than someone born in 1900 by a long factor because you know how many chemicals have come into the planet in between that time? So people from an older generation have a better constitution because they were born in a time when their mother never got exposed to chemicals. See this? That didn't happen to me. I was born in the 70s. You can't imagine what I was exposed to in my mother's womb. Okay, and today with all the radiation and all the things that are happening, and so you're, so we're getting born less, less constitutionally strong than these old timers that are proving that how powerful life is. That's what they're proving. They're proving how powerful life is that they could actually survive this lifestyle. But to me, it simply means that they would have lived a lot longer. The longest living people in the world live in the Pakistani Himalayas, they're vegetarians, all right? They're called the Hunzas. You can research them. Anyone heard of these guys? Hunzas, H-U-N-Z-A. The Hunzas are in Pakistan, in the, in the higher altitudes, you know? And uh, there's a National Geographic article about them. I do not own this article, but one of my masters does, and he keeps it in his library because it's such a crazy thing that he keeps it as proof. He taught, he taught this to us. So he says he has his National Geographic and it's real. Okay? I take his word for it. So according to him, in the National Geographic article, it's about the Hunza's people. And what he says that there's pictures of them in this, in this magazine where hundred-year-old men are playing volleyball with their fathers. <laughs> with their fathers. 100-year-old men playing volleyball with their fathers. And the secret to why they are living so long, one, chemical-free world, two, pure water, three, intelligent food, okay? They were vegetarians. But they had one more thing that they did that no one else does, which is that they work hard all day long. You know, they just work, 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 work. They're always working, okay? Which is an important part of health is always keep working, never retire, yeah? Work, 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 work. Now, when they got tired, because they'd get tired, when they got tired, wherever they would be, and I mean like really tired, wherever they would be, even if they're in the middle of the field, walking along the road, wherever they would be, as soon as they get tired, they'd walk off the side of the road, lie down and go to sleep. Take a nap. Take a power nap. Wherever they were, in the middle of the fields, pick, 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 pick. Okay, tired. And they just take a little rest sleep. That was one of their one of their tricks or secrets. Okay? So nap is a very good thing. If you could take a 20 minute nap, an hour nap, I mean, you know, some people can't do that because your lifestyle doesn't tolerate it. You got kids, you got people pulling at your shirt.